Uh, okay, I've got a major story to talk to you about here about something that is not good that is going on. Remember last week when I told you that alt right troll Mike Cernovich started a campaign to get friend of the show, Sam Cedar, host of the Majority Report, a voice actor on Bob's Burgers, formerly of Air America Radio, formerly of one episode of um, Sex in the City. Anyway, we all know Sam Cedar at this point. He tweeted. Uh, about um, uh, Roman Polanski about eight years ago. That tweet was taken out of context to make it seem as though he was sort of minimizing uh, the horrible actions called sexual assault by Roman Polanski. Mike Cernovich, this alt right troll with a pretty big online following, started a campaign basically to get Sam Cedar fired from MSNBC and to have his advertisers pull money from his program. He got fired from MSNBC, did Sam Cedar, until eventually MSNBC realized that they had sort of not considered the cynical objectives of Cernovich and his cronies. And MSNBC said they would be reinstating Sam Cedar. That's a good thing. Now, the problem is that in defending Sam Cedar on The David Pakman Show, I inadvertently got myself on the radar of Mike Cernovich. And he now has created a similar online stink, which is leading to hundreds of emails to Boston College, where I am an adjunct professor demanding that I be fired for an offensive tweet. I'm going to show you the tweet. I am not going to be deleting the tweet. It is up on my account. I tweeted last night what I thought was a pretty clever tweet, which was after the results are in tonight, the voters of Alabama are going to have to reckon with the reality that win or lose, they live in Alabama. Now, when you look at that, you'll see that there are something like close to 2000 or even more responses to this couple hundred retweets. This tweet got a lot of activity. And the reason that it got a lot of activity is that Mike Cernovich, or more likely someone told him about it and then he tweeted about it, decided to go after me for this tweet. First, Mike Cernovich retweeted it. Then he actually screenshotted it and commented saying, is this what the media thinks about Alabama? First of all, the idea that a tweet from me is a tweet that could in any way represent, quote, the media is laughable, right? I host a small independent show. In what way does anything I say reflect what the media thinks about any issue? Well, this is a sign that we made it, maybe, right? Right. It, it's almost flattering in how outrageous it is. But most importantly, of course, my tweet is referring to the fact that Alabamans have been raped and pillaged by Republicans for decades. And I made that clear in a follow up uh, tweet. There was a recent UN investigation that says Alabama has the worst poverty of the developed world. It's a total disaster. And I clarified that in a tweet where I said, this is a criticism of how Republicans have failed Alabama, education, health care, public infrastructure. It is not a criticism of the people, although there will be plenty to criticize about the people who vote for Roy Moore. Doesn't matter, though. Cernovich's followers, after failing to get Sam Cedar fired from MSNBC, are trying to give me the same treatment. They are after me. They are sending tweets to Boston College, where I am an adjunct professor of communications. They are sending emails to Boston College. And I actually I didn't know what to do because now I'm the target of what I was just trying to talk about last week when it came to Sam Cedar. I reached out to Boston College this morning and I explained, listen, this is who Mike Cernovich is. Before you hear about this from anybody else, I want to let you know uh, about what's going on, just so you're aware of the full scope of my tweets, who this guy is, what happened to Sam Cedar, et cetera. That aside, and hopefully I won't get fired from Boston College, it is endlessly funny to me how the people who claim that there's oppressive political correctness and limits on free speech and no one has a sense of humor anymore and they're against safe spaces, they are apoplectically playing the outrage card here. They are just outraged because I made a joke where they misinterpreted that what I'm doing is making fun of people in Alabama, which if that's what I was doing, it's not really that offensive. I mean, it's a pretty mild joke. And of yeah. course, what I was really doing is criticizing the politics of Alabama, which are absolutely atrocious. I mean, what a snowflake too, right? And this guy has failed over and over again, Yeah. whether it be the Pizzagate conspiracy that completely collapsed, trying yeah. to get Sam Cedar fired. He actually went on Alex Jones' show a couple times. Oh, it was a disaster. Horrible performance. Horrible performance. If you haven't seen Cernovich on Alex Jones, check that out. Yeah, I think that... Uh, Maybe there's some element of Cernovich being really angry that he didn't succeed at getting Sam fired. I don't know. I mean, so far, not knock on Lucite. Um, I've not yet been fired by Boston College. I picked up thousands of new Twitter followers as a result because this got so much attention. And by the way, 
the degree of anti-Semitic pond scum that started coming after me after Cernovich sicked them on me last night is really, really stunning. Yeah, but not surprising, right? Not surprising at all, no. Uh, and finally, I feel bad for the people of Alabama. Uh, in Massachusetts, we are somewhat protected from the horrible things that the current federal administration, the Trump administration is doing. We're, we're still going to suffer if Trump gets his way on all fronts. But I really feel bad for people like in Indiana, where I, where I recently was, an economically ravaged state that is only going to be further crushed by the Trump agenda. Alabama is another example. I actually feel bad. The last thing I'm doing is making fun of the people of Alabama. I am really feeling bad that they are being crushed by the agendas of politicians like Donald Trump. Uh, that's what's going on. I will let you know if this becomes a firing from Boston College. You can discuss this with us on Reddit at davidpackman.com slash R-E-D-D-I-T.